compete in a semifinal at the Cancun Challenge. Teams to the court. Starting lineups have been introduced, and they look like this for Maryland. They'll roll out Trimblestone, Carter, Lehman, and it's Suleiman who's been big in the early season. Illinois State, Lee, Wills, Akun Purcell, McIntosh, Hawkins. And this is a Maryland team that has scores at all five positions in their starting lineup, but it's, it's built, constructed very, very different than from last year. Dan Muller, fourth season, his first head coaching job. He was a member of the 1997 and 98 NCAA teams at Illinois State, now leading his alma mater. Dan Muller, fourth season in normal Illinois. Well, the Redbirds have brought over 100 fans from normal made this the trip of the year. We'll discuss how it was a little bit of a trip of a lifetime to get here. Mark Turgeon fifth season the reigning Big Ten coach of the year 2015 that award went to coach Turgeon at Maryland. Illinois State has the tip in their hands in the home white uniforms Illinois State. Right away a little uh, concern against the size of Maryland a ball off the bottom of the backboard on a missed shot. Mello Trimble who handles it at the Cancun center court circle. Robert Carter Jr. sets a screen for Trimble. Back to Carter. Three on the way. Lehman fought for it. Illinois State's got it. Redbirds get a shot try from Deontay Hawkins. Fight for it to the floor. And on the end line, the contact on the end line made by Maryland. It's going to be Illinois State basketball. They've got 27 seconds well, on their shot clock. You saw Hawkins shoot a three. Remember, that's one of the big guys for this Illinois State team. So is Purcell at times. He can play inside. They can all post up, but they can all play on the perimeter. And for a Maryland team that last year played small with Jake Lehman at the four, now, all of a sudden, they're playing big, and the question becomes, can this new lineup guard in the perimeter? McIntosh inside. A lot of epidermis deposits on the floor already. A lot of flying around on the hardwood. It's going to go out of bounds and be Maryland's basketball. No score yet. I have never heard epidermis used in a college basketball game. Congratulations to you. By the way, <laughs> that your epidermis is showing. Why, thank you. Trying to limit that exposure here in sunny Cancun. I can tell you were studying in the gym today, by the way. You're not sunburned today. I'm shocked. Yeah, it's all the practices. To the rim, Maryland first to score in the semifinal, Rashid Suleiman. Ball in the hands of Tony Wills, a junior guard from Indianapolis. Gets it away to Hawkins. And Kyle McIntosh holds it above the three-point circle. Inlet pass denied. Seven seconds to shoot now. Deontay Hawkins, the sophomore, gave it up. And a carrying violation. Boy, Illinois State couldn't find anything. Paris Lee turned it over. And, and, and that looks like just a defensive stop for Maryland. But the truth is, the challenge for Melo Tremble is showing people he can guard somebody. And whether it was last year because of his high usage rate and because they didn't have another ball handler, the reputation that Melo Tremble got was... He's just kind of there on defense, and maybe he's pacing himself. Layman. Akun Purcell on the rebound. Now Lee's a very good athlete, and to contain him and cause him to carry shows that he's locked into that. Devon Akun Purcell, the senior, he draws the foul call. That goes against the five-star freshman, Diamond Stone. Now Stone in transition. Should be backpedaling instead, keeping one eye, and on the basketball he may not have thought he fouled he may not have gotten anything but that's that's part of the kind of the new age in college basketball where the offensive player gets the benefit of the doubt more so than the defensive player an important point for illinois state point number one maybe they just settle in now and go toe to toe with the nation's number two team 17 points a game in the early going through four games for Illinois State, Devon Akun Purcell. He has two now and evens the game up at a couple points apiece. Lee providing some pressure against Trimble, then three Redbirds jump at midcourt.
Carter takes it to the rim. Scores it, E. Uno. That's Robert Carter Jr., the transfer from Georgia Tech. Hey, wouldn't that have, wouldn't that be Roberto Carter if you're going to go E. Uno? And, and this was set up by Diamond Stones, posting, then sealing his man and acting like a moving screener only. That's no one ever calls that. Stone ends up sealing his man, who becomes a screener for Carter, and Carter right down Broadway lays it in. For Illinois State, Mikhail McIntosh, the foul, he checks out. And we see Nick Banyard, a redshirt junior from Flower Mound, Texas, checking in for Illinois State. Banyard, of course, a transfer from New Mexico. Ball almost breached the center court line, did not. Now a push. And then Stone's got two fouls, and now he'll sit. And this is part of the learning process of a freshman. No matter how talented you are, freshmen, I think, struggle with two things. One, shot selection decision making the offensive end and two at the defensive end because you're playing you think you're playing hard in high school you have no idea what playing hard really is and so is the other guy and he was just laid on both of those plays and ends up having two fouls and will sit probably most of the first half just two minutes and 40 seconds into the basketball game diamond stone two fouls akun purcell interior pass trimble takes it away on the kick out to paris lee Trimble snaps a pass to Carter. He's fouled. Great look from Mello Trimble. By the way, for Maryland, it was DeMonte Dodd replacing Diamond Stone. There's Mello Trimble off the ball screen, turns it down, gives it up before there can be any hope of a charge. And a beautiful pass. That's the first foul for Devon Akun Purcell. First free throw is good. Another one coming up for Robert Carter. Had 13 points in that win over Ryder, a team high 13 points. Well, Guy who enjoys table tennis. They have tournaments here at the resort, by the way. Table tennis. He might be in some of those this I week. Would, I would like to challenge Robert Carter. Take him. Good trip to the free throw line. 7-2 now, Maryland. Hawkins holds the ball with Lehman on him. And you see Carter and the rest of the Terps. When the ball goes to one side, they're at the midpoint line, which is, means they're all the way over in help. Going to build a wall defensively against an athletic Illinois State team. Suleiman denied that pass in. Ball knocked around. Last touch by Illinois State. Four turnovers committed by Illinois State having some trouble with Maryland's defensive effort. <laughs> Offensive style for Maryland evolving this year with the change in talent. Suleiman, good for three. Tres puntos, Rashid Suleiman. Maryland embraced the trip to Cancun, made special shooting shirts for this trip. Lost Tortugas on the fronts of those shirts. Suleiman embraces the deep ball, hit a big one against Georgetown to give his team the lead. There's a knockdown from outside. Paris Lee, an important bucket for the Redbirds. If he can, if he can take and make good open shots, it will change them offensively. Baseline bounce to Lehman off the back iron. Griffin chased by Dodd. Catching their breath now. Slow it down on this half court possession. Griffin's going to hoist it up. Missed that by a lot. Hawkins puts it back. Offensive board and a bucket. Deontay Hawkins, the sophomore from Dayton. Leads the team in rebounding into this game, Deontay Hawkins, at five boards per game. Got his team back within three. Dodd has a seam. He's fouled. Going to shoot free throws after a break on the floor. Early going, Maryland 10, Illinois State 7. And it is Mello Tremble creating for Rashid Suleiman, who knocks it down. Not to be outdone. Paris uh, was incredibly competitive last year in the league. Thump in Wichita State at their place. Northern Iowa just beat North Carolina. So imagine for the Valley, 
if in one week they could beat number one and number two. And uh, Illinois State not shying away on Monday of this coming week. They're going to play Kentucky. So there's plenty of chances. So how about they, they chartered a flight, and if you were in this arena, you notice that it's all red, and you think, well, that must be Maryland. Like, no, this is like an Illinois State home game. Glad you said that because I wore a red tie tonight knowing it's neutral. Right. It's, it fits. It's both teams. It, and it's a beautiful tie. Thank you. But um, that is an aside. <laughs> Illinois State, they, they brought, you know, over 100 fans on a chartered flight. So the thought was that you could fly out of normal Bloomington, which is you know, where Illinois State is located, and it's three and a half hours. No problem, right? And then... You get back, you get plenty of time to rest before you go to Kentucky. Their flight was actually had to land early in Miami because they had a cracked windshield of the plane. And it took them nine and a half hours to get here. But worth the travels. Illinois State enjoying themselves in Cancun. Now basketball underway, taking on Maryland in semifinal action. And so you would think it would be a nonstop flight on the way back. Not actually so much. <laughs> Because there's no international term terminal, there's no customs, they have to stop somewhere else. Throw away, Akun Purcell, one-on-one -on -one with Suleiman, scores, finger roll, and Illinois State within and, a couple. And as good as Melo Tremble is, he had some issues this summer being a true point guard, and there's some concern about his ability to consistently break a press. Suleiman hit the front iron, bounced off, Trimble gets the tip out. He's going to try it from deep. Way off the mark and a whistle underneath. Stay in here. It's a defensive rebound foul. Look, we all have flaws, right? But I would say that that of the flaws for this Maryland team, the biggest one here at the Hotel Riviera Maya is that they only have one true ball handle. Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya, all-inclusive host of the Cancun Challenge. Check them out at hrhrivieramaya.com, an all-inclusive experience. And that's what this is here at the Cancun Challenge. Foul for Illinois State. Devon Akun Purcell is either got up on the board. Let me make sure that's right. That's not what I'm seeing over here. So does not have two. Let me verify that. Make sure we get you the right foul. Nobody with more than one foul for Illinois State. So we're in decent shape. If you're a Redbirds fan, nobody in some trouble yet. So, so now Maryland brings in Jared Nickens, who's a phenomenal shooter, and Michael Tchaikovsky. And Jake Lehman is at their small forward again. But you only, so you only have one player who's really comfortable dribbling the basketball, and you're facing an undersized team that's going to pressure you. This is the one thing that Mark Turgeon did like about their matchup last year with West Virginia in the NCAA tournament. Quentin Brewer was owned defensively. A couple of guys on him trying to find a shot. Couldn't get anything productive. In a two-point game, Maryland setting up some offense. Illinois State bench applauding the defensive effort of the Redbirds. Nickens had it. To Trimble. Redbird fans love the effort. They get wow. the result. Kick out. Run out. Lee. Lehman behind him. Scored it. And we're tied at 11. And it could be a lead for Illinois State on a free throw foul. Jake Lehman. Uh, again, Melo Trumbull has to have the ball in his hands because no one else can seemingly make a play. That looked like a foul on Paris Lee that wasn't called. Lee gets the run out. Nobody back defensively. And he gets the and one. Parisley, he grew up actually in Chicago. But when he was a teenager, he witnessed a drive-by shooting. And his mom said, that's enough. We're moving to Maywood, Illinois. Went to Proviso East. And has just been a fantastic addition to Illinois State. Missed free throw. Tipped out of bounds by the Redbirds. Lee taps his chest, says, hey, my bad. And he checks out of the lineup. Replaced by Keyshawn Evans. Paris Lee, who you're talking about. CBSSports.com has him as one of the 15 under-the-radar breakout players. A guy poised for a big year for Coach Dan Muller. And his mom, Kamala Franklin, and dad, Anthony Franklin, decided that was enough. You know, he didn't make his team in his fifth grade year. And use that, he uses that even today as motivation to be a better college basketball player. Suleiman snapped it down low. Got it to Michael Tchaikovsky, who rotated it back around up top to Suleiman. See, that wouldn't happen in the suburbs. No cuts in the suburbs. Nickens up top. Seven seconds to shoot. Underneath. Two seconds to shoot. Extra pass. Buzzer beating three. Jared Nickens.
Nick Banyard gave it away to Devon Akun Purcell. Remember now, Diamond Stone, two fouls in the first two minutes and 40 seconds of this game. He's out. Defense of the Terps stands up to that effort, but the loose ball is gobbled up in flight. Quentin Brewer, grad student transfer from Bethune Cookman. Quentin Brewer, fantastic athlete, but he got a running start there because Tchaikovsky was trying to block the shot. He couldn't recover to get a rebound. Illinois State down by one play indeed. Lehman rimmed it out. He's fouled. It'll be free throws for Lehman after a stop. Thad, one of the challenges for Maryland. Will they be an extra pass team? Instead of taking the shot, Jake Lehman, extra pass avert in Michigan. Right. I'm excited to see Big Ten hoops this year. Illinois, just, I mean, excuse me, Iowa just pummeled uh, Marquette. They were 40 in that game. You saw on that Big Ten list, Northwestern was here last year. Doug Collins was here last year following his son, Chris, head coach at Northwestern, the three-time All-American from Illinois State, was hanging out here at Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya, and now his alma mater. They play on the court named for him, Illinois State, Doug Collins Court at Redbird Arena. It's been a great time over these eight years of the Cancun Challenge, watching all the faces present and past and future file through Mexico. Long ball for Illinois State answers the free throw visit from Maryland, and it's a knockdown by Deontay Hawkins. We're sitting on a good battle here at 11.05 and ticking in the first half. You can see Dan Muller knows what he's doing. Out of the timeout, Maryland in a full court press, and Illinois State gets an easy bucket. Rasid Suleiman getting some ball handling duties. Maryland has a one-point advantage. Fly out defense from Lame and denied the shot from Hawkins. Illinois State resetting some offense now. Maryland calling out some new defense. Five seconds on the shot. Bank home from Paris Lee. Missouri Valley all defensive team gets a little offensive. And this is interesting what Maryland's doing. They're trying to steal a couple minutes with Mello Trumbull out, but Jalen Brantley who should be their backup point guard, isn't bringing the ball up against the press. They're almost hiding him as he has to gain some confidence in his ball handling skills. Double team on Suleiman. He calls a timeout with seven seconds on the Maryland shot clock. And again, the Redbirds bench loves the effort of their defense, forcing a timeout call by Maryland. Well, I'm with Doug Gottlieb in Cancun. I'm Thad Anderson, the Doug Gottlieb. His time with Kevin Stalins, both in normal as a player and in Nashville, as a coach, well, Vanderbilt's got a tremendous team as they blew out Wake Forest earlier today in Maui. Last time Illinois State made the NCAA tournament, 1998. Yeah, Dan Muller was there. It's to actually the longest drought of any of the Missouri Valley teams, not named Loyola, Illinois, who was added to the Valley when Creighton left. Shot clock violation. There were seven seconds on that shot when Maryland came out of the timeout and the air ball flung up. That's not as close as we've gotten to have a ceiling ball, by the way, here. That was a high arcing so shot. So how many years have you been doing this tournament? Eight years of the men's side. And how many of the women's? Uh, we're ten. Ten, ten years of the ten women's side. Eleven years now. Eleventh year this year on the women's. And ten you, teams here for the women. You reported earlier that there's never been a ceiling ball. There's not. In the women's side either? No, we've not seen anything off the, uh, off the roof. Uh, but not a high ceiling here. That whistle is going against Illinois State. It's going against Nick Banyard. Banyard has two fouls. The closest, or a couple of the close things we had. One great shot we had is John Wall dunking with Kentucky when they were down here for the Cancun Challenge. An overtime win over Stanford to win it. John Wall dunking with a chandelier wow. right above his head. Steal, take away, Paris Lee. And he, nope, didn't step out of bounds. He was fouled. Paris Lee doing a variety of things to get Illinois State's motor going in the first half of the semifinal. Look, it's too long a pass, but that's Mello Tremble's fault. You should never be catching the ball in that coffin corner to begin with, let alone having Paris Lee step in front and get the basketball. When you're a point guard, the first job is you have to demand the basketball, especially one as good as Mello Tremble. Illinois State up by two, and they have possession. Lee screens for Akun Purcell. Corner. Good from distance. 
And counted for Deontay Hawkins. His second three from that spot as Maryland continues to overhelp. They're, they're helping too much on the strong side, the ball side defensively, and they keep leaving Hawkins open in that corner. Maryland has played from behind in a couple of games this season. They're not strangers to deficits even deep into the second half, but they're getting their full share of it here from Illinois State. Another giveaway. Cross court to Lee. Nobody wanted to shoot that. Going to reset offense. Turnovers five for Maryland and six for Illinois State. Look how spread out Illinois State is. Heat check is off the mark for Deontay Hawkins from but, a different spot. But Hawkins has Tchaikovsky on him. He's got a true center on him. And so he's going to continue to stretch him out, open up the lane, and shoot in the three. And eventually it'll open up for drives for Illinois State. Tchaikovsky, the sophomore from Slovakia. Outlet pass, run down by Akun Purcell. He missed the layup with Trimble beneath him. Mello now pushes into half court. Tchaikovsky couldn't handle it, and a pushing foul called against Tchaikovsky. And that's still compounding an error. Tchaikovsky drops a beautiful pass from Mello Tremble right in his hand, and then he commits a foul trying to get the basketball back. Ill players at the wing team. Now, the weakness to playing undersized wings as post players is you got to throw the ball into the post. The problem is that Dodd is not really a low post scorer, and Maryland's struggling to get the ball even past half court in order to get the ball into low post offensively. Trimble in the lane, jumps the pass, and converts the score. The best character characteristic of Mello Trimble's game, by my estimation, is he's an unbelievable competitor. Shot blocked now, some energy out of the timeout. Big swat for DeMonte Dodd. Trimble got his first basket of the game on that steal and breakaway. But to get it on an ATO after a timeout, team's going to run a play, and you just run through and make a play, that's great leadership and toughness. Now to the floor, Illinois State had a poke away from Tony Wills, but Maryland recovers. Six seconds, now five to shoot. Trimble reverses wow. underneath. Big finish, oh. Mello Trimble. Maryland back within one. Illinois State still leading. 6.47 and ticking first half. Ouch. Exit stage left. Suleiman driving. Scoring and Maryland back on top. Timeout. Redbirds. What a response. While they're way back up by one. Of course, we've seen Suleiman much publicized, thrown off the team last year at Duke for attitude issues after the Notre Dame game. Graduated from Duke in three years, pursuing his MBA now. And Lee goes in. Illinois State back to the boards, rebounding well against this Maryland team. Suleiman, early in his career at Duke, came in and made big plays. Struggled last year with his role. And he's shown himself to be a tremendous senior leader for this Terrapin team thus far. Got a battle in the first half. The Valley toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Big Ten. Long ball from Akun Purcell rattles out. Rebounding right now. Illinois State with eight and Maryland now with ten after that last board. See, they're just swarming Tremble on every ball screen. Just double teaming him and then rotating to his nearest pass. So the long gets Akun Purcell in the air. Missed it. And on the end line, fighting for the board, stepping out of bounds is Robert Carter. But, but see, that's okay. You know, some people might not like mid-range shots, but because there's so much attention paid to Tremble and to Suleiman, there's going to be offensive rebounds available for Robert Carter and for Don. The whistle's going to let a couple of Maryland subs check in on a dead ball and a foul call. Remember, this is a Maryland team that... As, as well constructed as they are, they don't have Deion Wiley for the remainder of the season as he tore the meniscus in his knee. That's another ball handler, and that also allows them 
to play smaller. That's what's forcing them to play this bigger lineup more consistently. Second foul for DeMonte Dodd. He is still on the floor with those two fouls. And how about that? Timeout. That's, they give a timeout? No. That's a five-second call. Did they call it? Yeah, I didn't see the five think, fingers go up, but they did. So called it. You're down. You're falling out of the game. Timeout. Place is going crazy. You get a run through and a steal, two block shots, and then a five-second call. Trimble works his way up the floor. His team up by one. Dodd bounces. Lehman. High up for the board, the 5'11", Jalen Brantley. And Illinois State is daring Maryland's big men to beat them. And work inside by Brewer. Check that, of course, Paris Lee up high. And Paris Lee, he's six feet tall, so just an inch more. Had the flip-flop on the height, but it's a big board underneath on the other end, and it creates an opportunity for Brewer, who's fouled. He's going to shoot a couple of times. I think they called the foul on the wrong player. I think it was actually on Jared Nickens. I think they called it on Dodd. We see Quentin Brewer stepping up. He has not shot a free throw yet tonight. Can tie it with one of these. Does, and he'll get another one. You mentioned Brewer transferring in from Bethune Cookman. Trimble, Suleiman, Lehman, who was there by that loose ball. It's Tchaikovsky who got it. And Nickens, the five on the floor for Maryland. Uh, clock problem, whistle. I think they're going to have to correct the clock situation coming back into play. Illinois State waiting to send in a sub. We've got Wills and Lee, McIntosh, Brewer out there, along with Akun Purcell. Looks like now it's going to be Wills leaving and... Roland Griffin checking in the freshman. Clock adjusted. Shot clock sitting on 24 now. MSNM presents college exposure tournaments for girls who want to play basketball the next level, featuring hundreds of teams, hundreds of college recruiters, ranging from major Division I programs to NCAA Division III. Play great competition. Be seen. Get recruited. HoopTournaments.com. That's HoopTournaments.com. Midsummer Night Madness Tournaments. And the only reason that Illinois State had a scholarship for Quentin Brewer as a grad transfer was because Reggie Lynch transferred back home to play for the University of Minnesota. He, too, a power forward, had the big hair last year in the championship of the Missouri Valley Conference. But that allowed them to go out and get Brewer, who's given them incredible energy. He's kind of an undersized big and an older player as well. Officials ironing out the timekeeping. And Dan Muller, just a little tweak of the uh, lower chin. Moving on. We mentioned Jalen Brantley was getting yet another opportunity to play here. The steal in minutes. This is smart from Mark Turgeon. You got 5.01 to go in the first half. You got a TV timeout coming in the under four. So you want to see if Maryland can break the pressure and run some offense without him. Meanwhile, you're just getting him a minute of clock time off the floor. Turn around. There's a shot down for the senior, Jake Lehman. Lehman one free throw, and now that field goal, three points. Giving his team a two-point advantage. Griffin floats it in the lane. Staying with Illinois State out of bounds. The big challenge for Jake Lehman is not skill. He's got all the makings of an NBA caliber face-up three you can post up. It's will he play with an agenda? Will he play thinking, i got to prove to people what I am? And so far this year, he's done a great job of not doing that. Shot off the mark. Maryland pulls it down. Jalen Brantley, there's the 5'11 Brantley pulling down the board amongst some bodies. Lehman in that. Win over Ryder. He went with a double double, 11 points, 11 boards. Nickens, no good. A lot of Redbirds around it. It was Chekovsky in the middle of that. 
Illinois State takes it away. Lee past Lehman reverses it. Big finish. Harris Lee to the floor and scores. See, that's Jalen Brantley's fault. That's his man. He's got to stop the ball. He's got to pick up the point guard. That shouldn't be Jake Lehman guarding him. Saw a nice reverse finish by Mello Trimble earlier, and there it's Harris Lee forging a tie at 25. Baseline, Brantley. Now outside, Brantley, dead on the back iron. Lehman there for the putback. Running, Illinois State. And whistle, it's going to be Michael Chekovsky fouling underneath Illinois State, shooting free throws when we come back. This is just not good enough, though. Number one rule in defense is you must stop the ball. You must stop. Crash and then lost our women's head coach, Kurt Budke, and uh, three other victims. Another I, my heart goes out to the Tory Wards family, to all the families involved. It's just it's, it's heart wrenching. And then for Illinois State to go through that and then have plane troubles on the way down, you start to think, well, are we what's going on here? Illinois State made a trip to Spain this summer, a couple games in Madrid, a couple in Barcelona, and it's some young people having to deal through some jitters and some nerves and some, some sorrow. You know, we, Oklahoma State's plane crash was my year after uh, I graduated, and I, I, just, I remember every plane ride I've ever gotten on afterwards thinking of those men and thinking of how lucky I am that I survived on my plane ride. And Coach Miller talks about the uh, make the most of every day now that Positive lesson coming out of a tough situation. Maryland in the corner with nine seconds on their shot clock. Nickens no good. And Lehman keeps it alive, tipped it out. A loose ball, so no backcourt, obviously. And Suleiman's going to pull back out to Trimble. 27 26, Illinois State trailing by one, Ding on the Terrapins. Lehman, no good. So this is the small lineup for Maryland. Lehman's their second biggest player. And let's see how they defend. You can see the floor is far more open, and they have three or four opportunities for penetration. And you got Lehman and Nickens as shooters. No hesitation, and for good reason. Mikhail McIntosh. Coach Turgeon saying spread, yes. spread. So they'll do this quite often. They're not running any set play. Just a high ball screen, let, let Melo Trumbull do his thing. Missed his thing, and the rebound is Deontay Hawkins. Maryland, two of 12 now from three-point land. Well, that wasn't foul. I, I will say this. For the most part, Diamond Stone, remember, got two fouls two of the first 10 possessions of the game. For the most part, you haven't seen any change in the officiating from previous years. The officials doing a good job of calling the fouls, but for the most part, letting them play. Another run through from Maryland. Yeah, Lehman pokes it away. Oh. <laughs> majestically throws down south of the border. One hand delivery from Lehman ties the game at 29. Trimble jumps into Hawkins. Lee in the corner. Pass deflected off of the leg of a Terrapins defender. It'll stay on this end in the half court set. 11 seconds now on the shot clock for Illinois State. From Maryland, it's Devontae Dodd back onto the floor. And it's also Devon and McQueen Purcell back into Illinois State. Almost a Tom Chambers type of dunk from Jake Lehman. Can, I, can I get a Tom Chambers reference wow, in there? Way to, way to pull Tom Chambers back in. I think Tom appreciates that. Tom Chambers can get up. He's watching right now. Enjoying that at home. Under one minute to go in the first half. Dribbling problems and a shot clock violation. The frantic Mikhail McIntosh gave it away. And you can see Paris Lee pointing to his head. Think, fellas, think. Got overhand of the basketball. Turnovers have been a problem for the Redbirds all year. This is an Illinois State team that came in with more turnovers than assists on the season. Turnovers seven for Maryland, ten Illinois State turnovers in this first half, ten times. And a turnover 
by Trimble. Lee fouled by Mickens, two free throws. I tell Redbird fans who Paris Lee reminds me of. Uh, this, this may be a little bit salt in the wound. They had a all freshman team point guard who was lightning quick from Kansas City, Missouri, named Victor Williams. I know because he transferred in. He was a red shirt my senior year at Oklahoma State. It's that type of remarkable hand and foot quickness that you don't see. Even in the Big Ten, you don't see. Paris Lee missed that free throw. Coming up on AT&T at the half. NCA news and notes. First half highlights and stats from here in Cancun. As our crew in the studio will get you everything you need to know. That's coming up on AT&T at the half. Kind of act like he didn't remember Tom Chambers as a great dunker. Like, Tom Chambers was a freak, man. I remember Tom Chambers as just awesome. He was awesome, but he was a yeah, great, great dunker. Yeah, I had, I he would, had the famous double clutch from nearly the free throw line in the game. If you played the word dunk. association said Tom Chambers, I wouldn't have said dunk. Uh, but really? I, but, but I don't, but not okay. that he couldn't. I'm just saying I would have just said more, He's, you know, hair yeah, and good guy. I think most people would have, you know, it's he and Larry Nance were those other guys in the dunk contest with Michael Jordan and Dominic Wilkins. Illinois State. 30 to 29, up by one. Can they get to the locker room up? Not with Trimble going to the basket, score it for the Terrapins. So competitive. Makes a mistake, doesn't hang his head, and comes back and just goes into attack. Mello Trimble, six points. And now last possession in the hands of Illinois State. Lee, wild shot at the buzzer, won't go, and that leaves Maryland up by one at intermission. It's a semifinal of the Cancun Challenge. Maryland 31, Illinois, Illinois State 30. It's a semifinal. Ten turnovers you talked about. Three blocks by Maryland. For Maryland, two of 13 on threes. They've hit 10 out of 13 two-point tries on their two-point shots. They're 10 of 13 from inside the arc, but terrible from beyond the arc. We go to the second half, and we see if Illinois State can make a huge statement. How about the Missouri Valley? Illinois State can do it tonight in Cancun after Northern Iowa did something big with North Carolina. Carter comes out of the halftime intermission. He's got a bucket, and Maryland has got a three-point lead. Now that they have Diamond Stone back on the floor, he sat most of the half with two fouls, and he got Carter. Nice little backdoor cut. Illinois State bucket for Deontay Hawkins. And that's what happens. He hit two threes in the first half. Now Jake Lehman, who's having to guard him out on the floor, gets back up. Boom. Stand alone under the basket. Easy one for Diamond Stone. Let's see if Maryland does a, has a concerted effort to get the ball inside. They have such an incredible size advantage, girth advantage in the low post with both their big men. Lehman tipped it. Carter grabbed it. Trimble. To Lehman. Nope. And another good rebound effort by Paris Lee, who gives a little something back to Robert Carter after the out of bounds off of Maryland. Right, so in the first half, you had Paris Lee end up with 11 points. Just electric in transition, got a couple steals as well, and made those two three pointers. Rashid Suleiman, I thought played well, showed some improved ball handling, especially when Melo Tremble was out of the game. Cut, bounce pass, Lehman <laughs> had a block, and it looks like he's got a foul. That is an anticipatory call. That's a bad call. It's the second straight back door from Deontay Hawkins. Hawkins goes in. It's not a foul. That's a block. And, and what you're saying, if you're a coach, is, well, listen, you extended the charge line. You made it increasingly difficult for my players to take a charge. Okay fun. But now you have to allow us to block shots. That was a cleanly blocked shot. A good play by Lehman, but it sends to the free throw line. Akun Purcell hits the first. And and Purcell was, was quiet in the first half. But you have your Purcell. That's the reason that you always go in and dunk. Officials have a tendency to anticipate that there's a foul anytime you miss a dunk. Couple of free throws down in Illinois State. Back within one. Trimble bounced it off his own leg. Yep. Run up Lee. Good pass down low. Carter on the big slot. McIntosh. 
shooting free throws. That's a beautiful block from Carter. Carter's been a lot better than I think most people thought transferring in from Georgia Tech. First block for Carter, fifth for the team. McIntosh good on the first. We are tied at 35. MSDMC, the trusted partner for ground transportation at the Cancun Challenge. MSDMC can handle ground transportation for your family for vacation or your major corporate event. Personal service exceeds expectations. That's MSDMC. Online at msdmc.com.mx. Well, who's got the lead now? It's Illinois State back on top. Pressure at center court. Suleiman got it across. Just in time. That was great work from Suleiman. That's a veteran player who's been coached by two very good coaches. Hold on the ball, step through the double team, make them foul you, and make the right pass. Five seconds on the Maryland shot clock. Three seconds. One second. Nope. Didn't get it away. And all night long, Illinois State has been celebrating good defense. They get to celebrate some more. And this is a reason I think you're going to see more teams press this year in college basketball. It might actually have the opposite of the intended effect. We cut the shot clock to speed up the tempo of the game. Well, coaches are saying, wait a second now. If I can press and you get the ball in the front court and there's 22 seconds to go and maybe 18 seconds before you can get into a set, that limits the amount of time my team has to play defense in the half court. And that's exactly what Illinois State did. They pressed. Maryland struggled to get it across half court. They never really set something up. Law, the Coon Purcell didn't quite get the hammer, but he got it in. You talked about it before the game, and Akun Purcell asserting himself eight points now. And a presence. Layman standing open in the corner. Wanted it. Trimble didn't send it down there. Well, they're, they're trying to take away Mello Trimble, and Trimble's allowing himself to be taken away from the play. Here's... Devon Akun Purcell, little spin lob. And when you receive Suleiman, you haven't played post defense in a long time. Purcell, a tremendous talent, has really developed his perimeter game during his time in Norman. Six straight games and double figures for Akun Purcell. He's sitting on eight points tonight, trying to get his seventh consecutive double figure game dating back to last year. Another foul on this end by Illinois State. Two fouls committed on this trip down. Maryland's trying to take some of the pressure off of Tremble by not having to bring it up, but I would like to see him flash in the middle against the press, get it, and go. And you have your best ball handler creating shots for others. Carter, great move in the so paint. Good. So good. He talked about him transferring from Georgia Tech, dropped 20 pounds, benefiting from the program in College Park, the training. Suleiman maintains it. Took it away. Illinois State in a little danger zone here. Now leading by one, but the momentum shifting. Stone. Well, he just kind of give up on the play there. Walked out of bounds with it. He's just a young player. He just he's getting pushed in the back a little bit. It's very physical. He's off the block. He should have caught it and thrown it back out when he realized where he was. He's struggling to move his feet. This is life of a young big man. Had a big second half against Ryder, scored 10 of his 12 points in that come from behind win against Ryder, hit six or seven field goals in the game, did Diamond Stone, kind of a breakout performance, but again, some growing pains here and there tonight. Long ball for Illinois State, Tony Wills, the junior, from deep. It's pretty composed, Dan Muller on the sideline over there. Do what we're doing. Shot block for the Redbirds. Suleiman tried to shoot it. Hawkins sent it away. I think he was trying to throw a lob, but nonetheless, Hawkins right there. I think you're right. That's probably what was going on. Now Suleiman comes back and great twisting pass to Trimble to start the break. Scores. They have a unique ability to go in there and make shots that no one can block. That's a hard shot. You're coming down in transition. He comes across the basket, lays it back, and they come to block, and he lays it up just in time. Lee, high dribbled it. Purcell kicks it out, moving the ball around the perimeter. Blocked by Carter into the Illinois State bench. Redbirds basketball. Ooh, and a stop 
in play. Illinois stayed up two on Maryland. 15-35 to go. And Devon Akun Purcell has been energized. Going to win this game. Uh, but, you know, with every with every moment that passes, the confidence grows for Illinois State. And uh, with every moment, it, it feels like Maryland has less and less offensive identity. What do they want to be? They want to throw it inside. They want to depend on Melo Tremble. That's really their only two options. They're good options, but doesn't feel like they have an offense to rely on, especially against the pressure, the all-out pressure of Illinois State. Here's a touch foul called against Jared Nickens. Second foul, Illinois State, fresh shot clock. Not going to use it. Wills, maybe he'll advise there. That's blocked out of bounds. I think that's block number six now. That was very good defense from Maryland, and Wills is dr driving in, and in so many games we've seen here early in the non-conference part of basketball, that's been called a foul. And the offense initiating. Really good job by the official holding the whistle. Griffin fighting with Carter and floats one up no good. We saw Clark, same rebound. thing. Carter's hands up. Griffin causing the contact and no foul called by the official. Redbirds want to take it right at the Maryland defenders and instead it's Trimble going the other way, taking it to the hoop. And then there's Melo Trimble who shot more free throws than anybody in college basketball last year. He's he's not a blur. He's not as quick as Paris Lee, but he has great little start and stop and you saw the hook. And what's interesting is he caused that contact and he gets the foul as opposed to Illinois State trying to cause the contact at the other end doesn't get the foul. The Uno is good for Mello Trimble, a substitution for Illinois State. Going to check in Quinton Brewer. Mello Trimble when asked why to go to Maryland, he said to play for Coach Turgeon. Turgeon, a tremendous point guard, pride of Topeka. Of course, he was, Turgeon went back to see his beloved Royals bring home their first World Series in over a quarter century. Maryland grabs back the lead, 42-41. Illinois State, they show the stamina, the presence, the poise. Missed the three ball. Dog down from Trimble. Plus three on the scoreboard for Maryland. Brewer pressured too much on the shot. And Trimble as Lee went to the floor. Paris Lee wins that battle. You'll hear people say pocket pass, pocket pass. This is a pocket pass. There's a small little pocket in between the two defenders. You have a big man, you have a guard. You see the little pocket? Pocket bounce pass to Dodd for the easy dunk. All created off of Melo Trimble. Fourth year head coach Dan Muller, floor leader for the Redbirds in the 97 98 NCAA tournament runs. Now the sideline leader, but looking for some leadership, some poise from his Redbirds. Down by three, got a good defensive stand, a foul call on the offense. Trimble with his. Got one foul for Trimble on the board. And we're calling uh, Carter with one foul. And that last trip down. Evans got it. It's Keyshawn Evans, a freshman from Plantation, Florida. Gets his team back within one. Defensively here down by one, Illinois State. What's their mission on this possession? They, they just want to pressure out man to man and they want to corral Melo Trumbo off these ball strings. Got a seam, clanged it. Boy, the three point shooting for Maryland tonight. Not. You mentioned, you mentioned the first game, the background. The backgrounds, when you have a, a small gym, the hoop looks higher. The bigger the arena, the lower it looks. Akun Purcell is off on that three. Brewer fought for it. It's Demonte Dodd coming down strong. Two for 15 on threes now, the Terrapins. Two made, 15 tried at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Mile. And the smallest lineup Maryland could possibly have with Brantley playing alongside Melo Trump. Put back try by Dodd. He was fouled on the offensive rebound follow attempt. What I like about Maryland's the depth. You can they might have one too many big guys and need one more guard. Deion Wiley out for the year. But this is if Brantley shows the ability to improve. Brantley playing alongside Tremble 
and now you have Nickens and Suleiman. That's a small lineup with two driver creators and two shooters and one big guy and God who's not a great low post scorer, but because you have to help on everybody else, he's going to be able to get offensive rebounds and putbacks. And it'll buy you some time while you rest a layman, you rest a Carter. Sixty percent lineup change just happened for Illinois State. Three guys checked in. Griffin, McIntosh are out there. Lee's out there with Hawkins and with Kuhn Purcell. Free throws put Maryland in a 46-43 advantage. Push on the rundown through the lane, and it's going to go against Maryland. It will be called on Jalen Brantley. Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya hosting the Cancun Challenge. HRHRivieraMaya.com. Start your all-inclusive experience at HRHRivieraMaya.com. Our thanks to our hosts here on the Riviera Maya. Trimble gets Maryland to the basket. Gets Dodd a second dunk in the last couple of minutes assisted by Trimble. That. His teammates, I'm fine. Sitting over there now next to Diamond Stone. Diamond has not seen many minutes tonight. Rashid uh, Suleiman did say of him in that Georgetown game when he was having a rough go, well, the best thing about that freshman was he was awesome on the bench, supporting his teammates, clapping his hands, staying with it, even though his night wasn't going maybe as well as he was hoping. He's over there again tonight watching as his team tries to forge a victory in Cancun over Illinois State. Cancun Purcell. Can't finish on the shot, but he's going to shoot two free throws. Hard for DeMonte Dodd to, to guard Akun Purcell. And Purcell's a 6'5", maybe 6'6", six, six, dynamic athlete. You go on YouTube and you watch when he was coming up in Florida and he can do any dunk you want. And now your 6'10", center has to guard him out in the perimeter. That's what matchups do in college basketball. It's, the, it's one of the reasons that in the NCAA tournament, mid-majors, undersized teams are able to be effective if they can rebound, if they, they can defend while playing smaller lineups. In for Maryland, Robert Carter replacing Jake Lehman. Devon Bakun Purcell, preseason All-Missouri Valley Conference. Breaks an 11-2 run by Maryland. Gets a point. Jalen Brantley has to come back and really help out. He can't hide as the additional ball handler. See Coach Turgeon on the sideline, helping the offense get themselves organized. Carter, elbow left alone. Another rebound for Paris Lee. He's got five. Shot is good. Illinois State. Looks like they may not disappear in this one. Mikhail McIntosh. Uh, you just you can't play Dodd out in the perimeter defensively. He can't cover Mikhail McIntosh. Mello Trimble waiting to check back in at the school table. Suleiman handles. Now joined by Tchaikovsky. Is Trimble on the check-in wait. Of the second half from Monte Dodd, right man, right time. What a play from Carter, though. Location, location, location. Dodd has been the recipient of three great passes. Pass in is tipped away. Carter runs it up. Four point lead for Maryland. What was especially good from Carter? was that he, when you catch in the high post, it's not really a shooting position. The first time he caught it, it wasn't really open. He took his time and found Dodd for the dunk. Nickens. Oh, good shot. Bounced out. Another swat. Dodd is there. Eight blocks in the game for Maryland. Nickens tries again, no good. Nickens last year as a freshman, number two on the team with 57 threes made. These guys got the green light. No, he's a tremendous jump shooter, especially when his feet are set. 
Suleiman. A couple of chances for that to go down, including the tip try. Maryland, no points. McIntosh just pulls his way in and scores, and the Redbirds are back within two. We're going to get a chance to see Justin McLeod. He's waiting to check in for Illinois State. Dan Muller trying to diversify the bench. Some fresh legs waiting to check in while Trimble and Tchaikovsky also wait. There's another dunk. There's a defensive problem. Carter makes a great pass. And Dodd shooting excellent percentage because he's shooting from half a foot every but time. But Illinois State, is, they just keep pushing up higher and higher on the floor. And they're leaving the back end open. And they're daring Maryland to throw it to Dodd. 11 points, 4 of 4 shooting, and that's answered by a short jumper. Nice stroke from Deontay Hawkins. Hawkins, 12 points. He is leading Illinois State in scoring. In fact, he's leading all scorers in this game with a dozen Hawkins. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe in Cancun. Illinois State got down by 5. Maryland overcame a deficit here in the second half, but Illinois State game. Sticking around, Suleiman from deep. That was down and back up. Unfriendly rims. McIntosh left wow. the rim, goes to the basket again. Knifing through yet again. Mikhail McIntosh, sophomore out of Ontario, Canada. And a stop. Coach Turgeon, timeout. It's a short timeout. Illinois State back even at 52. And you mentioned DeMonte Dodd. Everything they can handle before West Virginia took down these Maryland Terrapins in the second round in Columbus, Ohio. Holiday Hoops on CBS Sports Network. Glad you're with us in Cancun. Thad Anderson, Doug Gottlieb. Freezer update here. We're in balmy Cancun, but Maryland 2 of 18 in this game from behind the three-point line. I thought you were mentioning the air conditioning, which is blowing behind it's us. It's also chilling us here in the... Got about a 14 mile per hour wind from the air conditioner blowing across. Maybe that's why they're not shooting the ball. Right? Yeah, could be a two of 18 from out deep. They're shooting it well from inside the arc. Maryland Suleiman with three seconds to shoot. No good. That was just inside the arc. Illinois State gets a big loose ball. Grabbed by Nick Banyard inside. A Coon Purcell left side finish. Illinois State back on top under eight to go. He's been fantastic in the second half. So now Maryland moves Jake Lehman to the power forward, playing him in the middle of that zone. Lehman, too much, too strong, going to stay here, though. Defensive foul on that rebound, loose. I, I know he's open, and I know you say to yourself, Jake Lehman's a great shooter. He's open from 10 feet. That's a hard shot to catch the ball with your back to the basket, turn around. The staff who produced this Cancun challenge doing a fantastic job. Another exciting year of basketball. Our second game of a doubleheader tonight. Rhode Island defeated TCU earlier. Rhode Island awaits the winner of this Maryland-Illinois State matchup. And if it ended right now, it would be Illinois State. With Missouri Valley taking on the A-10s, Rhode Island Rams. Maryland has possession, chance to tie or jump on top. of Coon Purcell pokes it out of bounds. <laughs> Illinois State on a 6-0 run. Down by five points here in the second half. Battled their way back. Trimble. Dodd on the offensive glass. He's fouled. Foul Nick Banyard. He has three. Maryland averaging 73.3 points per game so far through three games and sitting on 52 points scored with 727 to go second half and no more points right there on the free throw miss I mean you know when you're at 52 with seven and a half to go you're on pace for about 70 points anyway I don't I don't think scoring has been the problem honestly it's been um, turnovers against pressure giving up dead layups Dodd just left two points out there. Doug, how about this? Illinois State out rebounding Maryland, 26 to 23. And, it's be, and, and it seems counterintuitive when you have a bigger team that you can get out rebounded, but Illinois State has them so spread out. Tres puntos y uno. The three is drilled from the corner. 
And a free throw coming up. And there's those fresh legs I was telling you about. Justin McLeod, the senior from North Dakota, seeing action, seeing potentially four points. From Botno, North Dakota, the designated sniper. He comes in, the junior. First time he touches the basketball tonight, he gets it up and gets it in. Jared Nickens, third foul, missed the three and one. McLeod off on the free throw. Illinois State up by five. There's the three-point shooting on your screen. Seven of 14, Redbirds just nailing it from outside. Maryland, two of 18. Trimble rolls it home. Averaging just over 16 points per game so far this season. Mello Trimble sitting on 13 after that bucket. Don't leave him. Same corner, different result, just a three. Carter there for the rebound. You can just tell the difference in scouting report when you're not in the league, when you're not a, a Valley guy, you don't know that McLeod's coming in to shoot every time he gets an open look. Carter screening high for Trimble. Shot clock to 12 seconds. Banyard on Carter. There's Dodd at the rim again. He is five of five from the floor and he's shot a total distance of about seven feet on those five tries. Big crash to the floor and grimaces. McIntosh is back up but waiting for Dodd to work his way off the floor. McIntosh has just lived at the rim and Dodd just kind of fell awkwardly. But the big question Landed on his hip. That's a big, big body. Monte Monte Dodd, 6'11, 250 pounds, the listing. They're making sure the floor is okay, too. Good to see DeMonte jump back up. That was painful. Young man's game there. That's a seven year injured reserve list for me. Bounced off. Free throws starting to work against Illinois State as they try to work a lead here against Maryland. Well, let's see if Diamond Stone can play with the same energy of DeMonte Dodd. And instead of posting up, he gets... There's an area where you, so oftentimes players don't use that where you meet the backboard. There's When the backboard comes down, then there's an area between the backboard and the actual end line. That's called the ghost territory. That's called ghost. DeMonte Dodges lives in that area, and because you're helping, you lose track of him, and he gets tip in and tip dunks, and you don't really have to make a post move. Dodd checked out. Stone checked in. He's low now. McIntosh just left for Illinois State. Got Wills in there with Lee up top. Spin, score, Carter off the glass. Robert Carter is impressive with his offensive skill. We're even at 58. Maryland chance to lead. Sulawan runs. Try to bounce it off Trimble. Missed him. Sulawan dunks. Go ahead baskets against Georgetown, against Ryder, and a late go ahead basket against Illinois State. Rashid Sulaiman has been the guy to get the Terps back on top. That ball is way short. Kicked back in. Hawkins couldn't control it. Trimble runs. And he's fouled. A couple free throws, Mello Trimble. This is a crazy good, it's an unbelievably athletic play by Mello Trimble. The ball is going out of bounds, so Kuhn Purcell is trying to throw it off of Mello Tremble. He jumps, and Purcell just happened to throw it at his feet. And because he throws it at his feet, it bounces underneath his feet. Maryland recovers, throws it to Suleiman, who dunks it. Good look up by Diamond Stone, who caught that bouncing pass or that bouncing effort by Haku Purcell. Trying to dodge ball it off Trimble at Stone, who gets it to Suleiman. Suleiman steals it, comes down out of control, throws it to Kuhn Purcell, steals it back, but then is falling out of bounds because Mello Trimble tipped it. Trimble tips it, but has the wherewithal to know he's going to throw it at me. You got one of two choices, right? You duck or you jump. He chose to jump. Are you a duck guy or you a jump guy when you play dodgeball as a kid? I was a, a bounce it off my own ball guy, but he didn't have one available to him, did he? 
Nothing to deflect with, no shield. 62-58, Maryland now on top. Trimble, after that visit to the line, 15 points. Three of three from the stripe. Lee floats it in. Paris Lee has made a statement tonight. They just keep coming at you in waves. 13, co-team high with McIntosh for Lee. Wow, 62-60. Maryland on that 10-3 run in the last two minutes, 20 seconds and ticking. There's the three dropping after numerous efforts. Jared Nickens may get another one. Third three of the night. Two of the programs that traveled the biggest contingents of fans down to Cancun, and they are all in full throat. The Redbird fans, the Terrapin fans, McIntosh scores. He is really good at getting to the rim, isn't he? I mean, just getting dead layups. Part of it is he's being guarded by big guys, and part of it is he just has a knack for being able to adjust and get to the rim. Kick out. Suleiman. Two in a row. Both off of Mello Trevor. Two threes in a row. Carter celebrating with his teammates along the bench. Three and a half minutes to go in the semifinal. That ball thrown into the expensive seats. Baseline seats out of bounds. Maryland's getting it. Mello Tremble created a three for Jared Nickens, and the next time down, breaks down his personnel to the best of their ability. That guy worked at Baskin Robbins in Topeka as a kid. You've seen 31 emotions from Mark Turgeon tonight, but his team has fought their way back up by six, trying to stay undefeated, sitting as the number two team in the rankings right now in the country. Lehman bobbles it across midcourt. Trimble takes it over. Mello with six assists in the game and a co-game high 15 points. Mikhail McIntosh has 15 for Illinois State and Mello Trimble 15 for Maryland. Those are the high point scorers. Nickens. Layman's fighting for it. There's the foul going. Really, really good basketball and a smart play from Mello Trimble. He's got two shooters on the weak side. So instead of using the ball screen to come over to that weak side, he turns it down. Turning it down means you go the opposite way of where the screener is coming from. That way, when the help comes and Nickens relocates, he's wide open for a jump shot. It's a different kind of offense where we're, we're used to the old continuity, Thad, where the ball goes side to side to side. When you only have one ball handler, give him the ball, let him create, let everybody else spot up with him, catch and shoot the ball. Four fouls now for Mikhail McIntosh. He sent Jake Lehman to the free throw line. Lehman missed. Keeps the score at 68-62. Trying to dump it in to Akun Purcell. Suleiman backs him. Strong effort by Akun Purcell. He was outsized by some help that came on the swat out attempt. And Trimble, steady hand out near midcourt. Three-point ball has not been the strong suit for Maryland tonight. Just four of 20, but they've used it a couple of times late to get into this half-dozen point advantage. And it's just a little delay game. Again, into the ball screen. Two shooters on one side, one on the other. Trimble drops it to Lehman. Five seconds, now four, and that'll make the shot clock irrelevant. Going to be a single bonus here. And Muller decides not to whistle, but he will send in that sharpshooter, Justin McLeod. After, he's going to come in right now on a one and one. McLeod comes in before the first free throw, laying in at the line. McLeod's an amazing story. A great quarterback growing up in that small town of Botnell. His dad passed away when he was in eighth grade in 2008 from cancer. He played football, he played baseball, but decided to focus on basketball because his dad loved basketball. And he kind of feels his strength within him when he's playing for the Redbirds. Out of Botano High School, started at Bismarck State, now playing it for Illinois State. Lehman better at the line this time, and he puts his team up by eight. Anytime you go to normal Bloomington, and that's the big town compared to where you grew up in. He knew he grew up in a small town, right? Yeah, heading to the metropolis. Defensive pressure from Suleiman. Last touch, say the officials by Maryland. Well, does Illinois State have an eight-point deficit run left in them? 
I think you, you have to press on all makes, and you have to gamble in the half court. Gambling in the half court means you need to double team the ball, but you, you can't set up your pressure unless you actually make a basket or get to the free throw line. Devon Akun Purcell drives, dishes, McIntosh, short. Paris Lee, another rebound, stops, floats, bounces, and scores. Lee, five boards and 15 points. There's a run and jump pressure, waiting, waiting, waiting. You're hoping he turns his back. All Maryland's going to do is they're going to spread you out and make you double team the basketball at some point. So they get a wide open shot. So it's just a little delay game. Suleiman behind the back dish corner. Lehman. That might be enough. Use the whole shot clock. Trimble, Lehman celebrate, and they're joined by everybody in a Terps uniform. It's been a battle, and they feel a turn on that shot. Well, from the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya, Maryland, positioning themselves for an appearance against Rhode Island in that final tomorrow. You want to get one stop if you're Maryland. You feel like one stop, which they'll probably run something for Justin McLeod, the shooter, will end this game. Hawkins will take it. Too much. Jake Lehman pulled it down. Six boards in the game for Lehman. That's a team high. I was exceptionally impressed with Illinois State's game plan and with the energy and focus they put towards that game plan. But equally impressed by the adjustments that Mark Turgeon made and the fact that his team didn't sulk when they were missing all those jump shots. That's really the difference that between young teams and experienced teams. When you look on this floor, you have Rasid Suleiman who played and started at Duke, and the rest of these Terrapins who did a great job in the Big Ten last year made it to the second round of the tournament. They're experienced players, and what you learn in college is when you miss shots at one end, you make up for it at the other end. When you turn it over at one end, you make it up at the other end, and this Maryland team was able to do that tonight, survive eight first-half turnovers, and survive a very game Illinois State team. Bouncing free throw drops in. Dan Muller, the first Illinois State coach to beat three top 25 teams in his first three seasons. Gave it a good run tonight, trying to take out Maryland. Terrapins enough down the stretch, as has been the case in their now last three games they've played. Georgetown with Ryder and tonight with Illinois State. Dodd picks up the foul. DeMonte has three. What about Ohio State lost tonight to Louisiana Tech. First back-to-back -back home losses since 2008. Of course, losing, losing two bye games. Illinois survives in the last second shot against Chicago State. I do think the top of the Big Ten is very good, but there's some teams at the bottom. McIntosh, 16 points after that free throw. And he'll add another for 17 points in the game. Nick Banyard returns to the floor and replaces, you know, replace Mikhail McIntosh. Curtain call or tip of the cap there to Mikhail. He was excellent. Excellent in the second half. He was unstoppable for a good five minute stretch. Backcourt pressure. Suleiman dribbling and foul. <laughs> Challenges College Park going from fighting to get back to where they wanted to be and now trying to deal with the high expectations of a number two ranking coach Turgeon that even field approach. Well, here comes a full subset for Illinois State, a chance for the fans to salute the Redbirds. Well, and, and look, this is a it's a different setup for Maryland. You know, last year there were low expectations. The Hawks were the buzzards were circling really uh, in College Park. Low expectations of the Big Ten, and they surprised everybody. Going into Michigan State, beating the Spartans. But now you're the number two ranked team in the country. You got a preseason player of the year. You're going to get everybody's best shot. 
three no good from Evans. Trimble looks like the dogs have been called off by. Yep, a wave back by Coach Dan Muller says, let it run. We'll learn from this. We'll build on it and we'll actually take a little bit of positivity out of this 11 point loss. 77 66 is the scoreboard count. Maryland battled with Illinois State for the bulk of this one. And again, the Terrapins good enough to get the 4 0, winning the semifinal round in Cancun. Fans on both sides appreciate.